Hello again, I'm John McCarthy, Director of the Master of Science and Systems Engineering program. In this video, I would like to give you a sense of what systems engineering is and why it's important. The term systems engineering is used in three different ways. It can refer to a discipline, it can refer to a process, or more accurately, a set of processes, activity, tools, and techniques, or it can refl refer to a profession or career. Systems engineering as a discipline consists of developing systems that operate correctly and meet the needs of stakeholders in a cost-effective manner over the entire life cycle of the system, from conceptualization and development through production and operations to disposal. It is a structured and disciplined interdisciplinary approach to the development of a system that focuses on defining and documenting customer needs and required functionality early in the development cycle, as well as on the system's subsequent design, implementation, verification, and validation. Systems engineering considers the complete problem, not just the design. This holistic approach includes consideration of life cycle costs and schedules, the operational environment, interfaces with external systems, operators, and maintainers, manufacturing and testing, development of support facilities and equipment, training and operations, maintenance and logistics, as well as a host of other considerations. Given this description of systems engineering as a discipline, let us now consider systems engineering as a set of processes, activities, tools, and techniques employed by that discipline. While the details of such processes, activities, tools, and techniques is extensive and varies somewhat from reference to reference, there is general agreement on what I would term the core constituents. Our curriculum is designed to provide students the opportunity to learn these core systems engineering constituents and develop skill in applying them. The 2011 INCOSI Systems Engineering Handbook identifies 28 systems engineering processes and 13 specialty engineering activities. Examples of INCOSI systems engineering technical processes include requirements definition, requirements analysis, design, implementation, and verification. Examples of INCOSI systems engineering project processes include project planning, decision management, risk management, configuration management, and measurement. Examples of INCOSI specialty engineering activities include logistics, also known as RAM analysis, cost effectiveness analysis, life cycle cost analysis, manufacturing and producibility analysis, and human systems integration, also known as human factors. Modeling and simulation tools and techniques are used extensively to support all the systems engineering processes and activities. Modeling languages such as SysML are used to construct schematic and data model representations of the system and its behavior. Mathematical models and simulations are also used extensively. Many of the modeling techniques used by systems engineers are drawn from the fields of engineering, operations research, and management science. Because of the central and critical role that modeling plays in all the systems engineering processes and activities, SysML and other model-based systems engineering techniques are used extensively throughout our curriculum. Systems engineering as a profession or a career consists of exercising the discipline using the processes, activity, tools, and techniques described previously. It is a profession that I have had the privilege of practicing for the last 28 years. Systems engineers generally structure and guide the technical aspects of a project or program. They're responsible for ensuring that the developed system will cost-effectively meet the needs of the stakeholders over the system's entire life cycle. Given their broad and critical responsibility, systems engineers are generally well compensated and have a variety of career advancement options. Systems engineers have built a strong community through a number of professional organizations. These professional organizations have, to a great extent, defined systems engineering as a discipline, a set of processes, and a profession. The International Council on Systems Engineering, also known as INCOSI, is the largest and most prestigious of these. I and the University of Maryland are members of this society. Today, practicing systems engineers are generally expected to have a bachelor's degree in a technical field, experience working technical projects, NCOSI certification, and a master's in systems engineering. Now that we have a sense of what systems engineering is, let us turn to the question of why is it important? 
In a nutshell, one does systems engineering because a failure to do so properly increases the risk of a program's failure. This is especially true in the case of large complex systems where there are many things that can and often do go wrong. There are five major failure outcomes that are often the consequence of a lack of proper systems engineering. First, the system is never fielded, generally because it performs poorly or is too costly. Second, a poorly performing system is fielded. Third, a system that performs well is fielded, but it costs too much to produce and or operate. A generally good system is fielded too late to be effective. It may, for example, be overcome by events or overcome by competing technologies. And fifth, the generally good system is fielded, but experiences one or more catastrophic failures. Examples might include the meltdown at Three Mile Island nuclear power plant, the shuttle disasters, and many airline disasters. Systems engineering is a discipline and an evolving set of processes, tools, and techniques developed and applied over the last 60 years or so by practicing systems engineers that have been found to successfully reduce a program's risk of failure and increase its likelihood of success. I hope that this video has given you a better sense of what systems engineering is and why it's important. I also hope it has increased your interest in pursuing a career in the field through our Master of Science in Systems Engineering. I look forward to receiving your application. Thank you.